Harry Pinchard is uh, hands on hips, stood over the ball, waiting for the referee to uh, to get things started here. Interestingly, look at the look at the gap here in the, the right our right hand channel. They they know where the ball's going, don't they, Chester? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the referee's just counting oh, yes. counting the players, make sure he's got uh, eleven on either side, and well, we're bang on quarter two. A check of the watch. And away we go. Harry Pinchard rolls it back to Luke Haynes, who then sends it down the left-hand channel where the uh, the Chester defenders are waiting. But it's uh, Barnett who wins the knock-on. Chester do clear. Offside. And, uh, yeah, the offside yeah. flag. Hodgkiss, Ryan Lloyd takes over, picks out the run of Ryan McLean. Can he get through now? 18 yards out, Ryan McLean. Probably had a touch too many. The keeper's oh. not getting there. Ryan McLean on the goal and has got to come back. He needs some help. Miles Story with a shot. Oh. And it's oh. narrowly wide. Oh. I think it's taken a deflection and turned behind for a corner. Barnet underneath it. He doesn't get it, but it almost breaks to Story. It's a bit of a, a loose one in midfield. And it's oh. Chester who gets possession now. And it's Chester through on goal with Dudley, who uh, fires away a right footed shot. And it's Brad Wade who makes the save to turn the ball behind for a corner to the home side. Everyone bar Ryan McLean back for Hereford. It's a short corner played out to the edge of the 18 yard box. Will it be fires away a shot, but it's uh, wide. I'm not too sure how wide. Uh, back heel to Story, and Thompson Summers takes over. Plays it to McLean, 18 yards out. Can he find a way to get in a shot? He can, but it's well wide. It's in right footed. Towards a penalty spot, there's a free oh, header. Clear through. Free header from the number 21, Cole Hall. Hall. And thankfully for Hereford, it's uh, it banks well, relatively well wide in the end. But it was uh, dangerous because it was what penalty spot stuff there. Flicked on by Story. Out to Hodgkiss on the right hand side in a good position here. His cross to the back, per, uh, back of the 18 yard box is met by McLean. Left footed oh. shot. It's decent, but it's saved relatively comfortably by Harry Tyre in the Chester goal. Helped out by Lloyd, who regains possession, but very cheaply gives it away immediately for weeks. 18 yards out, goes for goal. <gasps> that is a great effort from the Chester midfield man. Thankfully, oh. it, well, I thought it was in at one point. I yeah. thought it was going to curl yeah. back. It did, and it stayed straight, and it went half a yard wide. Mile story, neither of them came off, and Chester back in possession. Play an early ball forward to Hall, who's in on goal, 18 yards out. Oh, good defended by Hodgkiss, great defended by Hodgkiss. Hall takes the tumble, falls to the turf, but the referee, who's right on the spot, says no penalty. Back it's all the way back to the Chester back line. Out to Coates on the right-hand side, Chester pushing again, moving that ball forward. And a good oh, save God. from Brad Wade, from Kurt Willoughby. It was a good ball yeah. forward from, uh, from Kieran Coates. Tries to switch it out to the right-hand side. Story gets it under control. Sends it to Hodgkiss. Hodgkiss back inside to Thompson Summers. In again to Pinchard, who's come deep. Gets the ball, carries it forward. Good run from Pinchard. He thinks about a shot. He goes for goal. Corner. He takes a deflection yeah. and go, goes behind for oh, a corner. Oh, Good that. play from Harry Pinchard yeah. there. Almost finds Barnett. It's dropped to McLean on the edge of the 18 yard box on the left hand side. Gets it under control, tries to beat his man, cuts into the 18 yard box, goes for goal oh. at the near post. It's a, a yard or so wide. 18 yard box for Hereford though. Chester in possession. Out on that left hand side with Joe Lynch crosses. It's oh. over Brad Wade's head, but he does manage to uh, just tip the ball over the bar and behind for a corner. Almost caught out there, Wade, but he did well to recover. Tries to play the ball forward to McLean. Good defending from Chester. Thompson Summers does find McLean though, who moves it out to the right hand side. Hereford attacking as Story sends in a cross. Ooh. It loops up. It almost beats the keeper and a great save in the end. But Hereford still in possession. Pinchard there into the 18 yard box. Needs to try and find a little bit of space. Comes back to Hansen. Knocks it on to. Haynes who goes for goal. Oh, what a goal! goal. Oh. Luke Haynes! Oh, wow. Wow. 30 odd yards oh. out. It's a screamer. It's in the back of the net. Hereford has stunned Chester here and it's 1 0 to the Bulls. Oh, my word, that only Luke Haynes could do that. What a moment. What a shot. Uh, can I just say, last time he did that, was against Chester at Edgar Street. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on, the day, right. on the day that we had the wow. ABBA gig, if you remember. And before that, we won 1 oh. 0. 
the he goal from Luke popped Haynes. up from absolutely nowhere. The ball just broke to him, and there was only one thing on his mind. What and 30 odd yards that? Surely. Yeah. <laughs> Evans, he gets his head to it. McLean gets his head to it. Can't get it under control, and it's Chester in possession. Copes now on the right-hand side, breaking into the 18-yard box. Crosses low, pulls it back. There's a shot. It's free in the 18-yard box. Over oh. the bar, a wide, and behind for a goal kick. And that was a fantastic opportunity for Chester to level.